Welcome back to Hector's Point of View. Um, hope y'all doing good out there. Uh, today's topic I want to touch on uh, is the importance of time. You know, um, to me, I've been around a lot of people who don't value it as much as they should. And when they do value it, it's kind of too late. And, you know, the number one pet peeve of mine is people value life when somebody dies. Uh, again, I'm gonna use the Kobe Bryant example. You know, everybody's like, let me live with this Mamba mentality now that he is gone. My question is why didn't you do it before uh, the man left the earth? You know, we just appreciate shit a lot more when the opposite happens. Again, you know, we don't appreciate the sun enough until it starts raining and then we miss the shit. You know, we don't appreciate the person we're supposed to until they're gone. You know, should it be like that? Fuck no. But the way shit goes down, you know, that's how shit happens. But uh, when it comes to time, that's our most important asset that, again, we don't get more of. Again, we don't know what's going to happen um, the next day. So it's like we have to take advantage of the time that we have. And again, I don't really believe in, well, I do believe in YOLO, like you only live once, so go crazy. But again, to me, that's not what that means it means just take advantage of every second of every day and make sure you're doing one what you want to do and two what you have to do for the goals you set out for yourself um you know i try to schedule out every hour of my day if it's not training the client maybe i'm reading a book maybe i'm doing something i need to do to kind of further me to my goal which is of course always financial freedom and setting it up setting up something for i never have to worry again in my life because to me I, of course i want to enjoy my life and travel the world and enjoy the fruits of my labor and things like that. But again, there's certain things that I have to do right now. Again, I'm only 29. I wanna be damn near retired and never have to do shit again, at least by 32, the latest of 32. So it's like, I'm doing everything now that I have to, that's gonna set me up. So when I do turn 32, I'm everything is set. You know, I never have to worry financially again. And then after 32, I have the rest of my life to fucking enjoy it with my woman we can go travel the world and do everything but it's like taking advantage of time right now a lot of people i think and to me i don't think a lot of people well i don't know if i said they waste time but i don't think that's the case it's just they don't take advantage of it you know my biggest thing is when people be like i'm bored i said i wish i had that problem you know to me there's always something to do but then again that depends on what your dreams um and goals are if you're bored and you're probably not doing something that or your goals and dreams aren't big enough because there's always something to do. There's always, there's always more to do. And in, and in, and in, and in another case, if you want to enjoy life and just be happy, cool. That's for you. You know, you don't want to work too hard. You don't, you know, you don't work or live to work, shit like that. And I, and I respect people who do that. You know, you just want happiness. It's just, I want more for myself. So I'm not going to take anything less than what I feel as I deserve and what I feel like I work for. So... You know, that's just me. But again, I think everybody needs to really value time and value time, at least that we're here on this earth, you know, and again, not go crazy and do dumb shit. That's not what it's meant. It's just taking advantage of every day and every opportunity that you can to just be better, be a better human being, be a better person, be a better whatever you are, just growth all day, every day, as much as you can. And just try not to stress. And then, of course, you always want to enjoy your life. So you kind of which is hard to do to me, but you have to find a, a find a balance or find whatever works for you and call it balance. You know, my balance isn't everything is the same, you know, me, work, relationship or whatever. But again, I still give 100 percent to whatever I do is this might be the different timing that I want to do. And again, as, as long as your life changes, you know, things are going to adjust. You know, once I get to my goal of having enough money, you know, I can take time away from that now and put it into other places, more in my relationship, more of whatever I want to do, you know, but it's just, I have to get to one pinnacle to be able to help the other ones get up to the, uh, the standard that I want. But yeah, at the end of the day, just take advantage of time. Just don't let it waste. I don't want you guys looking back 10, 15 years, like, damn, you know, I should have did this. I should have did that. But my question is, why didn't you, you know, what are you, what are you really waiting for? You know, that's the question of, of time what do we what do we wait for when is the right time and you know everybody's going to tell you there's no such thing as the right time to do something it's just taking advantage of now and making a conscious decision where it's like i'm going to change my life and i'm going to do what i need to do in this timely fashion but take advantage of the shit for sure